Hi, this is Katrina from KatrinaKCreations.com with part three of Get Your Sewing Done Faster Without Sacrificing the Quality of Your Work. And in part two, we made an A-line skirt pattern from a basic straight skirt pattern. Now I want to show you how to add seam allowance to your pattern, how to add text to your pattern, and also how to use the yardage calculator in Pattern Master Boutique 5 by WildGinger.com. First, I want to show you how to create or add your seam allowances. So at the waist, I'm just going to add a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to go to Tools and Offset. I'm going to type in 0.25 for a quarter of an inch. I'm going to select my line and let it go. Hit apply for every line on my waistline and it gives me a quarter of an inch seam allowance. On the side seams I'm going to add a half inch seam allowance. If you want a half inch, if you want five eighths of an inch, whatever seam allowances you're comfortable with you can add. Now I'm going to go to my hem and I'm just going to add using the offset tool one let's say a quarter or let's say one inch hem allowance and that's done. Now I'm going to trim my lines so that they meet my center front line I'm going to extend it down to my hem line and also my side seam. I'm going to extend that my hemline to my side seam. And then I'm going to go back up to my waist and do the same. So my dart is trued. My seam allowances are added. And that's my finished pattern piece. Now the other thing I can do is add text to my pattern piece. And I'm going to add text just by clicking on the piece and I'm going to get the text editor and I can change the font I'm just going to change that to Arial I can I'm going to keep the color black the height is 0.4 inches we'll see how that looks well we can make it bigger let's make it uh, 0.7 I don't want I just want it to be horizontal I don't want it to be I don't want any rotation involved. I'm just going to center it and I'm just going to name it A-Line Skirt. Now if you were doing this for a client, of course you could put your client's name on the skirt. Um, if you were doing this for yourself, you can put your name on the skirt. You can pretty much put whatever you want. And this is uh, the front. And we're going to cut one on the fold and hit apply and there you see it on the pattern piece we can take a closer look a line skirt front cut one on fold let's group it again and when I group it I can select the whole piece at once and everything moves with that piece and of course you want to do the same thing for the back okay I've done the same thing for my back skirt piece and because I'm not putting this on the fold I've also added seam allowance to my center back, a half an inch, the same as the side seam. One thing I didn't do is I didn't uh, make a waistband. So I'm going to ungroup these pieces and I'm going to measure my waist so that I can determine how long my waistband needs to be. This time I'm going to show you how another way that you can also measure without using the tape measure that's very simple. Now remember I told you at the top, when you look at the top left, you it gives you prompts as to what to do whenever you choose a function. This time we're not in a function, I'm just select, selecting a line. So when I select the line, it gives me the length of that line. So if I want to know the length of several lines, I just hold down my shift key and select more than one line. And the back and the front total is about 21 inches. 
So now I know that my waistband needs to be about 21 inches. I can add ease, a quarter of an inch ease or whatever. But for this, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to make a waistband that's 21 inches. And of course, that's on the half, on the fold. You just draw a line, a horizontal line, and type in 21. And now my line is exactly 21 inches. And let's say I want my waistband to be when it's folded an inch wide so I'm going to make it two inches wide so that when I fold it finished is an inch wide. I'm going to go to offset and type in two inches choose my line and there's my two inches and then I'm just going to go and draw my lines on the end and that's my waistband and of course I want to add my seam allowance so I'm going to add a quarter of an inch seam allowance I wish that it would let you just add select all the lines and add the seam allowance all at one time but it doesn't you have to do it line by line and there it is okay so now we have our front piece our back piece and our waistband and there you have it. Now, of course, you could add any type of style lines, any type of design lines. You can shorten the skirt. You can do whatever you want to this pattern. But I just wanted to show you in the simplest way how you can um, change a pattern in Pattern Editor. And now we're going to go into the yardage calculator. So I'm going to click on that and this is our screen in the yardage calculator so now I have to go and get my pattern that I w want to use all I need is my front my back and my waistband and I'm gonna go into setup and I'm gonna set up the layout now what this is is asking me for my fabric dimension so for the sake of this example I'm going to say 45 inches. It's also asking me for the salvage amount um, of the fabric. I don't normally use this at all when I calculate the yardage but if you want to if you want to tell it well it has five, half inch wide selvages you can do that and now it's asking me for spread type do I want it flat? In other words, do I want it open or do I want it folded? In this case, I want it folded. And then I'm going to hit apply. And if, as you can see up here, it has given me my fabric layout. And it's telling me that this is my fold line. So I'm going to move my pieces, lay my pieces out on the fabric to see how much, to determine how much I need. And you can move this in as tight as you need to. Just make sure you don't overlap. And once I get my pattern pieces on the fabric, then I can tell it to calculate. I go into layout and calculate. And if you want to move it in even tighter, you can do that. And you can go to layout, calculate again, and it'll, it'll give you your estimate. Now if we look down in the right hand corner here, it tells us the length in inches. 69.11 inches it also tells us how many yards 1.92 yards you might as well if you want to round it off two yards and is letting us know that this is a 45 inch width fabric and that it's folded when you print this out it's going to give you all that information so this is the yardage calculator a nice little time saving tool to have so this concludes video three. I hope that this is a help for anyone who is searching for pattern making software or wondering if pattern making software will benefit them in any way. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I will be glad to answer any of your questions. Again, this is Katrina from KatrinaKCreations.com and I want to thank you again for watching.